Um, John, first of all, uh, obviously you'll be looking for a reaction from the players from, from last weekend. What have you been working on this week to try and, and build them back up again after that after that game? I think it's just trying to be positive. Um, obviously we all know what happened at Maxfield and, and it hurt. Um, if it didn't, there's something wrong with, uh, with the players. So, uh, no, I think everybody was a bit shocked by it. Um, but uh, previous to that, obviously we hadn't lost for four games. So we've not got a lose sight of that either um, we've been getting good results so I think it was the fact that it was such a poor result and we all knew if we won um, we'd be in and around the playoffs so uh, that's why I think it hurt so much but um, it's one game and we move on and uh, you know we've got a great chance again to, to progress and, and get up the league You've kept with a, a relatively settled side throughout the season. I suppose from what you've just said, though, the idea of, of, of making changes isn't exactly a priority for you at this stage. No, I think if you suddenly start swapping and changing, um, when prior to Saturday uh, we've been doing doing well, uh, you know, we, we haven't had a too bad a start. So uh, no, there's no need to all of a sudden uh, everything's wrong because it isn't. So uh, we've just got to get back to what we were doing. There will be players though who inevitably in situations like this will come to you and say, right, well, we've, we've lost, I want to be in the team now. How do, how do you manage those players? No, that's, that's, well, that's just part and parcel of the job. Um, you know, if, uh, if things do, if they did continue to slide, then, you know, then you've got to look at it. But, uh, you know, I say it was one game, so uh, um, we've just got to get back to, to what we were doing. Being at home, of course, has been a, a, a little bit of a, a help this season, hasn't it? Particularly with the crowd and, and your home form as well. Do you feel more comfortable coming into home games, knowing that I, they're behind you and your home record too? Well, I think we, every home game now we, we're confident. Uh, we've got as good a record as anybody at home, so uh, we've got to go into Saturday's game thinking you know, we've got a great chance. Um, but we've got to do what we've been doing, and that is working really hard, getting the crowd behind us, and uh, and then hopefully getting the three points. What is the difference when you approach home games? I'm, I'm not talking about tactically or whatever. Mentally with the players, do you see a difference on, on the training field when they're coming up to a home game? No, none, none whatsoever. That's why uh, um, Saturday was a was a shock because uh, no, I think you know prior to that the results, uh, not the results, but the performance have been quite good. You know the effort's been there. We've been unlucky not to get. Uh, more points away from home, um, but uh, no, there's no no real difference. Um, obviously, being at home, you feel more comfortable, or should do, and uh, you know you got the backing of the of the home crowd. But apart from that, uh, nothing changes really. Um, formations, obviously, is something we've talked about in the past. I know you wanted two strikers on the pitch last weekend. Um, is there a, a thought to try and go back to what's a bit more tried and trusted for the way you've lined up in the past than at the weekend? Yeah, I think whatever system you play, it's about people working hard and, and game performances. Um, if you're referring to last Saturday, obviously there's too many players who had poor games and it wouldn't matter what, how we'd have played. Um, you know, if people put performances in like that, then you're not going to win a game. So, uh, but obviously you look at what the players are comfortable with and uh, that's the most important thing. Just wanted to mention one player in particular, Jordan Archer. I know you've been coaching very gently to get back in and around the first team. How frustrating is it that you've not managed to get him out on, on the pitch more? Because he made a great start, but then has, has stalled a little bit. Yeah, it's only because of his, because of his injury. Uh, he played in the reserves and did quite well, but you could still see he was still still feeling his injury. Um, but we've been doing OK. You know, One of the things we have been doing is scoring goals. So uh, it's very difficult to to put a centre forward in when, when the other lads have been scoring. Is it something that you try and preach to all the players then about patience and, and waiting for your turn? Yeah, when the most important thing is be ready and take your chance when it comes because you know during the season you're going to get a chance. Um, Stevenage, when they come here, obviously in the past have had a reputation for you know wasting time and being very physical. Have they changed at all from what you've seen and, and your scouting of them? Yeah, they've changed. Um, the... Uh, they do try and play. Uh, they got some decent players, and uh, you know this last few performances, they, they have improved. They've got the players, um, but uh, now that the old manager's gone, I don't think you'll see the same antics as they got up to uh, to last season. 
which was disgraceful, really, when, um, disgraceful by the manager as well, his, his conduct. But no, they've changed and uh, they're not a bad outfit. Do you have to be a, a little bit more prepared for an expansive game then and get the players not to drop into the habits that they would have been in the past facing a team like that? Yeah, I'd say every game's different and we've got to approach it whatever uh, we come against. It's about us performing and working really hard and doing what we've been doing. So uh, that's the message to the players. Go out and express themselves and get back to what we were doing.